Pet of the Week, brought to you by Pet Supplies Plus of Terre Haute. Welcome, everyone, and welcome back to our good friend Carla, who's with us today. And, well, we have a sweet little kitten who earned the name Big Boy because... He's the largest in the litter. <laughs> there you go. Because he's not very big, as you can see. Not at all. Uh, yeah, he just get, his the litter just got large enough uh, to go up for adoption. Okay. How many are there total in this litter? In this litter, there's seven. Seven, and you think, well, that's sweet. There's seven kittens that need homes. Nope. There's a lot more than that, aren't there, mm -hmm. Carla? Yeah. Uh, in fact, this weekend. Uh, just randomly, a lady was talking to me about the shelter, and she says, oh, you know, you've got, you know, you don't have very many animals now at the shelter, do you? And I said, no. I said, what you see on the webpage are animals that are able to be adopted. We have, uh, above and beyond what you see on our website in Cats and Kittens, we have largely in excess of 100 more cats and kittens that are either too small, uh, they might be battling some kind of an illness, or they might not be socialized enough. And uh, it's, in my 13 years volunteering, it's the worst I've ever seen as far as the number of animals we have at the shelter. Well, and heartbreaking to me it to is. think about these cats and kittens yeah. there that are looking for loving homes. Yes. So if you or anyone you know has room in your heart and your home for, for a kitten, Gosh, it sounds like you'd have the pick of the litter, literally. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few that are in the lobby and in the cat condos uh, that are available for adoption. And we're hoping that as, you know, as these times progress, that uh, these others will be able to move up and, and uh, once also be adopted. Once again, I think this brings to light, too, the needs that you have when you're talking about these animals. Because yes. wh what could you use right now to help out with these kittens? Uh, Kitten food. Okay. We, uh, I mean, you can imagine with over 100 kittens how much kitten food we go through every single day. We try to plan in advance because we know that this is the time of the year that uh, is kitten time, but we never, ever expected to be bombarded the way we are right now. So, so if you can't give a kitten a home, you sure could make a difference in their life yes. and in the shelter by donating kitten food or cash. Yes. They can go get the food that they need. We encourage people always to yes. adopt, too, from local yes. shelters, please, mm -hmm. before, yeah. you know, going no. anywhere else. Uh, so. One number that I was given several months ago from the shelter manager, because uh, I asked him, I said, what, how much does it cost every day to, to maintain an animal at the shelter? And he said, it, basing on all of the costs that we have, medical, maintenance, and everything, it costs $24 per day per animal. Wow to maintain the shelter. Well, and you just heard her say, there's about 100 kittens there or more right now, mm -hmm. so you do the math really quickly in your head. But uh, before we run out of time, look at this. Big boy needs a home. He and all of his litter mates looking for love and looking for a family, so please, if you have it in your heart to find room for a kitten or cat, there's the shelter information on the screen, the address. They're closed today, but you can visit tomorrow. And of course, you can visit online anytime at the website T hhs.org. There we go. thhs.org. All right. Carla, good to see you, my friend. Good seeing you. Thanks, as always, for everything you do to help these animals. We sure appreciate you. Stay with us because the mayor of Paris is here. We're kicking off a great week all about the city.